Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, we are going to develop keyword driven framework. So the most important part of keyword driven framework are keywords. So first of all, we need to figure out the unique keyword for our framework. So keywords. So in order to do that, First, I will list down what are the common web component, component we usually deal on the UI and based on that, I will derive the keywords. So the component are button, link, navigation, text box, radio button check box drop down and uh, wait so also we require the waiting logic so wait is also an component now what are the common action we can perform on this component for this we can perform the click action for the link also the action is click Navigation, we can navigate to any web page. Text box, we can supply text, so send keys. Radio button, again click. Check box, again click. Drop down, select and wait. We can perform the wait logic. So all this common action, I can map to the unique keyword. So the keyword you can derive from here can be first is for the click which will map to the click action. The second one is the navigate which will perform the navigate to the specific URL. After that select which will select the value from the drop down and send keys which will supply the text inside the text box. So these are the keywords and for the wait wait for element so based on the common action what you can perform on the web component i have derived the keyword and in the similar manner i have added inside the excel sheet so click to perform the click action send keys to provide the input select and so on so the logic behind building the keyword driven framework is that based on the locator type and locator value I will create the locator for that web component and based on the keyword I will perform the corresponding action so here inside our project I will add one more directory called keyword inside this I will add a class called data engine I'm going to make this class as public and inside this first I will create certain private variable which will have the index value for your keyword column locator type column locator value and parameter so private read only int keyword column Similarly, locator type locator value and parameter. So this variable will have the index value for the corresponding column. And also I will create a constructor where I'm going to initialize this variable. So the parameter to this constructor will be int keyword column comma int locator column locator type column int 
locator value column int parameter column and here I will use this to point to the variable and initialize with the value supplied so similarly for the other and the reason why I'm doing this is because for me this is the format but when you are running your script you might have a new column over here so by supplying the value you can read the specific column locator value column and this will be parameter okay now once this is done first of all we need to write a logic which is going to combine both of this and give us a web element locator so here I will use private and the return type is by because by is the way is the class which help us to create the locator so get element locator and this will take two arguments first is the locator type so string locator type and comma string locator value and here I'm going to create a switch case so based on your locator type I will construct the locator by including the locator value so switch this will be locator type and case so the first one is the class name and here I'm going to return by dot class name and the locator value okay and in the similar manner I'm going to create for the other locator so the next one is CSS selector and this will be CSS selector the next one is ID so this will be by dot ID link text so instead of using link text I will rely on partial link text but if you want to have link text you can add a separate case for that then after that name So name and this will be by dot name and the X path so X path by dot X path and tag name And in the end, I'm going to put a default case where if I'm not specifying any specific locator type, then based on the ID, it will return as the locator. So during the parsing, I'm going to call this method, which is going to read the data from this two column. And based on that, it is going to give us the locator for the element.
and after that I'm going to make a method which is going to perform the action based on the keyword so again here I'm going to copy the same code and this will be perform action so this method will accept three argument that is string keyword comma locator type and locator value and based on the keyword I will use my switch case the return type will be void so here the first keyword is click click and the action will be button helper dot click button and here I'm going to ca call this method that is get element locator which is going to return us the locator and the argument to this method will be locator type and locator value and after that I will call the break okay so this is our framework method so when during the runtime I will call the perform action method which will contain uh, the keyword locator type and locator value which is internally going to call the get element locator method which will return as the locator of the web element and let me make it public similarly for the other keywords send keys So this will be text box helper dot type in text box get element locator locator type comma locator value and also insert in some cases you might need to supply the argument like this okay so here and also the parameter can be single double or you can have any number of parameter so in that case along with this information I am going to create a variable with variable argument so when I specify like this that means it does not have any fixed length in the same method you can supply the single value for this particular parameter or more than one value for the same parameter this represents that parameter with variable length okay and I'm going to use args index 0 so it will be in the form of array so here I'm accessing its zeroth value so during the runtime it will become more clear why we use this particular variable here and after that I will call the break so the next keyword is select so here I will use combo box helper dot select by value get element locator locator type comma locator value and the parameter after that again I will call break wait for element so here I will call generic helper dot wait for element get element locator type comma locator value comma time span from second let's say 50 seconds after that break and the last 
keyword that is navigate so here I need to call navigation helper navigation helper dot navigate to URL and the URL will be argument of index 0 after that break and the default I'm going to throw an exception default so inside the exception custom exception I'm going to add one more class called no keyword found exception so here again I'm creating a custom exception which will extend from exception class so that if user has specified any other keyword other than this selected keyword our script or data engine will throw the no such no keyword found exception instead let me make it no such keyword so here I will create the constructor public here I will ask the user to supply the message for the exception and I'm going to call the base keyword to supply this message to the super class and here I will use throw new no such keyword exception and the message let's say keyword not found keyword okay so now the, during the runtime the actual flow will be first we need to create the object of this class and where we need to initialize the value for the respective columns that means keyword column locator type column locator value column and so on after that we need to call a for loop which is going to iterate to this entire row and slow, one by one it is going to read the keyword column after reading the keyword column it will call the method perform action where we will supply the keyword locator type locator value and also any parameter based on the keyword it is going to switch the case and it is going to call the get element locator method which will return us the locator type or you can say web element locator based on the locator type and the value for the corresponding argument and after that it is going to perform the action so this will be the flow of the keyword so in our next video I will show you how to run this script using this keyword driven framework so that's all for this video and thanks for watching